Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Godzilla attacking a city. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Godzilla attacking the city, we're going to actually begin by drawing some buildings down here at the bottom. So we're going to do a couple different things. So I'm going to show you guys just a couple quick little kind of techniques to draw some different things. We're going to keep it kind of simple. So let's just start like right over here and we'll make a straight line. And then we're just going to bring a line that comes back here. Then we're just going to draw this line down. Next starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come up. And then we're going to go over like this. Then we'll bring this back all the way down to here, and then we'll come down. Starting right here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come up. And then we're going to bring this all the way over to here. Make a little line that comes out. This time we're going to go up. We're going to go out here. And then we're going to bring this back. Now along here, let's make a nice little skinny line that goes really close to it. Then we'll bring this line back here. And then we're going to bring a line that comes down here. Now right here in this corner, let's make a line that comes down. We'll make a line that comes to here. And then a line that comes to here, just to kind of show where like a top of a building would be. Then over here, we're going to make a little line that comes across. And then we're going to bring it down here. And we're just going to make a little line that comes all the way over to here. Then right here, we're just going to draw a little line that comes across and a little line that comes down here. Now starting out here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to come out. We're going to go down and then in just a bit. And then we'll bring this across. Then we're just going to bring this line down to here. Then over here we're going to draw a little line that's going to come over and then down. And then out here we'll make a little line that's going to come over. We're going to go down here. We're going to make a little line that's going to come over and then down. Make a little line that's going to come up, over, and down. We'll make another line that's going to come up. We're going to come to a point this time and down. We'll put a little line down here. Another line comes up over and then down. Now, once we have some of our buildings in here, we want to come in and add Godzilla. Now, to start off with Godzilla, we're going to begin with his face. So we're going to start right about here, and we're going to make a little line that's just going to come down, and then we're going to bring it back here in like a check mark shape. Then we're going to make a line that's going to come down and then up here for the eye. I'm going to bring this line back and down, and then we're going to add a couple more little lines down here. We'll add a little line down here by the eye. Next, we're going to bring this up, and we're going to come back here, and then we're going to go down here to kind of form the back of the head. And then up here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go out. We'll add a little curve line down for the nose, and then another little line right here. 
we're gonna draw this line down and then we're gonna bring it up just a little bit and back kind of make it look like his head is tilted just a bit next we're gonna bring this line back we're gonna come up and then down here and then starting here we're gonna draw a line it's gonna come down and then we're gonna come out to here We're going to bring this line down and then bring it up. And we're going to come out and then curve it up to here. And that'll kind of form the jaw. Right here, let's add a curved line for the back of the mouth. And then we're going to add some sharp teeth in here all the way across the back. And we'll do some right across the bottom too. I'm going to make another line that's going to come down here. And then we're going to draw a line that's going to go up and then down and back for the tongue. We'll add some more little sharp teeth right along the other side. Next, I'll make a line that's going to come out and then down. And then right here, we're going to make a line that's going to come up and over. We're going to go down and kind of come over, and we'll do this one more time over here. Next, we're going to come up and then bring it down. We're going to go up and down, and we'll do this just a couple more times just to kind of show a little bit of detail. When we get to here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to come down and in to kind of form the chest. Up here, we're going to make a line that's going to come down and then over, kind of where the arm would be. Then we're going to make a line that's going to come down. We're going to go out. And then we're going to curve this down here for a claw. And we'll put another claw down here. Make a little line here. I'm going to make a line that's going to come down for that other claw. We'll put one more there. We're going to bring this line over and then up towards the body. We're going to make the other arm right over here and then we're going to come down. Next we're going to bring this line up and we're going to take it over to here. Now let's add his dorsal fins on the back. So we're just going to begin by making some jagged pointed lines right along the back. We're going to put some right along here. And we're going to make some big tall ones right across here. And then I'm going to put a couple more along the back here as well. And we'll do some more here. Now I want to add just a couple details onto Godzilla. I'm going to bring this line down and then back to here. And we're going to add just a couple lines here. A couple little broken lines around the mouth and on the bottom too. We'll add a couple more lines up here and a few quick lines right in there where the mouth is kind of stretching open. I'm going to add a couple little points in here and then a couple long broken lines coming down here. Let's go over here and we'll add a couple little lines and we'll make some broken lines that are going to come across the arm of Godzilla. And then after we go across, let's bring some down. This is just a quick way to add some scales. Over here, we're going to add some claws onto him. And we'll kind of do that same technique. We'll just add some little broken lines down and then some that come up here for some quick scale patterns. We'll add some more little broken lines coming down the body and a few lines across here. 
and we'll do a, the same thing across here, just some quick little broken lines. I'm going to add some extra little lines coming across here for some little details and a couple coming up too. Then right out here we're going to make a little kind of broken line shape just to kind of show where his atomic blast is going. And then just to finish it off, we can add a few little details onto some of these buildings. I'm not going to go super crazy with details, but we're, we can just add a couple little things. So we can do some things such as like little lines coming down the buildings. We can make lines going across on the buildings. We can even make some lines kind of going up and down on the buildings as well. Make some lines that are kind of kind of go up and down, kind of follow that angle of the building. We'll add some little details on here. We'll even do some little lines on some of the buildings over here. And just some quick little patterns on here. Now in these buildings we can actually add some windows on here. We're just going to make some big rectangular shaped windows on here. And we'll add some little lines coming across. We'll add some windows coming across here too. And we'll add just some little lines in there for details. Let's do some diagonal ones right here. And then on the top of this building, just to add some details, I'm just going to make a line that kind of follows that same shape. We'll draw a line that comes down here and a line that comes down here. Just to give it a little bit more detail. And then right along the back here, I'm going to make some small little rectangle shapes just to kind of show that there are more buildings behind Godzilla, like he is really attacking the city. And then one of the things I always like to add is draw some little antennas or something on top of your buildings if you like to, just for a little bit of detail. We can put some over here too. And there you go. There is your drawing of Godzilla attacking a city. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy.